Officials in Stonington, Connecticut, giving an update on the police chase that ended with an arrest today. Let's listen. At approximately 12.45 p.m., Troop E here in, Mount, uh, Troop e in Montville was notified that Rhode Island State Police uh, was in pursuit of a male individual identified as Ian Grant, the date of birth of 7-9-1985. Stop sticks were used uh, by troopers from Troop E, but were unsuccessful. Pursuit termination techniques were used to safely end the pursuit. Members of the Rhode Island State Police Tactical Team were on scene and were able to safely uh, get Grant into custody. Grant was then transported to an area hospital for uh, evaluation. Due to our close relationship with Rhode Island State Police, we were quickly notified and were able to bring this incident, assist in bringing this incident to a safe resolve. Out of abundance of caution and our close relationship with the area schools, uh, we placed them on lockdown, but they have since been released. Uh, this incident is, was contained and uh, we, there is no threat to the public and Grant is being held as a fugitive from justice right now and charges are pending. That's all the information we have right now. What can you tell us about how this started and where it started? Uh, it's believed to be started in Mass. It was, uh, the incident actually started in New Bedford, Massachusetts. Uh, you'd have to contact Mass State Police for any of that information. Uh, it then went into Rhode Island and Rhode Island assisted Mass State Police and it then crossed the border into Connecticut where we assisted Rhode Island State Police. Was Grant armed? Uh, it was, yes, Grant was uh, believed to be armed. Right now we believe to find uh, firearms in the vehicle. Uh, we just have to take the proper steps, get a search warrant to get into the vehicle to secure any weapons. He fired shots at pursuing troops? I cannot comment on that. You'd have to contact uh, Mass State Police or Rhode Island State Police to see what occurred in their states. Can you explain how the standoff actually ended? Did the SWAT teams actually fire tear gas into his pickup truck? Uh, there was no tear gas fired into the pickup truck, correct? No tear gas was fired into the, into the there was no tear gas fired into the, into the vehicle. Uh, uh, there was Okay, so there, my apologies, a Rhode Island tactical team did use uh, pepper spray and tear gas to safely remove uh, Grant out of the vehicle and get him into custody. How many fire a weapon? I'm sorry? Did the Rhode Island State Police SWAT team and the Rhode Island State Police SWAT team fire a weapon? No, not here in Connecticut, no, not at all. They just deployed the less, tear gas? Yes, less lethal, uh, what we call less lethal uh, force. How many weapons were found in the uh, vehicle? That has been unconfirmed yet because we have to obtain a search warrant to go into the vehicle. Were you negotiating with the suspect to have him surrender police peacefully? Were you surrender? How did you get him to come out? Yes, uh, Rhode Island tactical team uh, were, were able to um, negotiate and speak with the uh, suspect. What was Connecticut tactical team's uh, role in this? Our tactical team were, were en route. Uh, Rhode Island, what I'm... Uh, from my knowledge, Rhode Island, Rhode Island's tactical team was already involved in the pursuit as they crossed over the uh, the border into Connecticut. Was, was he talking to the officers at the scene? Yes. Yes. They, yes. yes. They, they negotiated him out of the vehicle. Okay. And did he have a demand or like where was he headed? How did he end up down there? We we don't know that. All that is still under investigation right now. The the scene or there's still this, this uh, incident is still under investigation. At this time. How, how useful is a bear cat in a situation like that? And do you train with Rhode Island the use of that bear cat? Yeah, we have. Uh, we are, we're we work closely with our uh, surrounding agencies, both local, state, and federal. Uh, so this is something that as we in training, this is uh, an incident where our training comes into uh, effect and and helps out uh, tremendously. Uh, the pursuit ended pretty quickly. Right, so he came off Route 78 there, and then straight up here, Route 2. So just minutes was minutes. he in Connecticut? Minutes. Minutes yes. before State Police stopped him, and yes. State Police were the ones who did stop him. Connecticut Correct. State Police? Correct. Excellent. And that was, you said, what technique? Uh, pursuit termination techniques. Okay, what does that mean? Uh, in this incident, we were uh, able to use a pit maneuver to safely stop the uh, vehicle. Did you have a previous record in any 
That we do not know. You'd have to contact um, Mass State Police. Do you know if he was connected to a fire in Darby earlier today? That uh, we were told through information that there was a firearm involved. Fire, uh, like there was a fire. Oh, there was a fire. Uh, that we were told, but we uh, again, you have to contact Mass State Police for anything that happened in their state. Did Grant make any kind of statements to police in this whole period? What was he saying? Was he getting out of the vehicle? That during the pursuit, uh, yeah, we that we don't know. He was he was in pursuit. He was uh, evading, actively evading uh, police. And does he definitely have firearms in the car? And you're waiting to get a search warrant to see how many, or are you not sure? Yes, he definitely has. He definitely has firearms in the vehicle. We're just waiting to see how many. We gotta obtain a search warrant first before actually entering the vehicle. Was anyone else involved in this whole situation? Was anyone else involved? There was no one else in the vehicle. Uh, whether anyone else was involved in any other states, uh, you'd have to contact uh, Rhode Island State Police or Mass State Police. Any idea how he ended up here in Connecticut? Was he headed to New York? Did he run out of gas? We don't know well, why he chose this route uh, specifically. Again, uh, the investigation is still ongoing, uh, so I couldn't be able to comment on that. Is that what you are saying? It's like a, a, what is that, a pickle stop? Correct. Was that ordered, or how did that come about? Did the officer initiate that on his own? Was he trying to do it beforehand, or did someone you know, from your team, order, unit, whatever, uh, you know, exit, you can use that. Correct. Uh, due to the circumstances, uh, the the uh, that maneuver was ordered by a supervisor to uh, to do so if deemed safe. What is the It's just the pit maneuver. Okay. Uh, where we, uh, the police cruiser or the, the trooper officer uh, uses techniques to uh, make the vehicle go into a certain direction to stop them, to prevent them from continuing to flee from uh, police. Was the suspect that any drugs or alcohol? That is unknown at this time. So you were negotiating with him and then you fired the pepper spray? The Rhode Island Rhode Island tactical team uh, were, were the ones that actually made contact with uh, Mr. Grant. And when the negotiations sort of broke off, that's when they deployed and they fired the tear gas? We would defer to them for what they're yeah. doing. Yeah, I would defer to... Uh, that is unknown. You have to... I know he's from Mass State... He's Mass from Massachusetts. You have to contact uh, Mass State Police for that. Did he discharge any of his firearms? Not here in Connecticut. What's your reaction with how this all ended? I think... Uh, I think with the relationship that we have with our bordering states, with Mass State Police, Rhode Island State Police, uh, even with here at Stonington Police Department, we were able to work together as we do so often with training and uh, conclude this incident with a very uh, in a very safe manner. And he was taken into custody by the Rhode Island State Police? So we, we have, we, he's currently uh, held under Connecticut State Police from a fugitive from justice. Right now we have pending uh, charges pending. Uh, a press release, we'll have a press release later for that and then uh, he'll be then surrendered over to Rhode Island or Mass. Uh, de definitely reckless driving uh, and pursuing, or being in pursuit, causing a pursuit from... Uh, was, was it Rhode Island, Rhode Island police that, to your knowledge, ordered the pepper spray to be shot in? Yes, uh, Rhode Island, uh, the Rhode Island State Police Tactical Team were the ones that were in charge of uh, escorting Mr. Grant out of the vehicle, and that was done on command from. Uh, they took. They took, and they were. They took charge of that that incident, as they were the most qualified to do so. So it must be relief that it ended the way that it did. Absolutely, and I think that shows to the good work, uh, the hard work, the efforts, the training that both all interagency training that we do receive. Are you communicating with Massachusetts State Police and Rhode Island Police and Connecticut State Police? Uh, so. During the pursuit, it was mainly through Rhode Island, but uh, Mass communicated to Rhode Island. Uh, we were able to uh, get that information. So yes, there was that communication between Mass, Rhode Island, and Connecticut. So there were no Massachusetts detectives on scene? Uh, there are Massachusetts detectives on scene as well. There are, they, uh, again, they're here to process their part of, of the incident as well. You said, you said there was more than one weapon in the pickup truck? 
what type of weapons are we talking about? That we, that we can't confirm until, again, we, we actually get obtain the search warrant and get into the vehicle. But there were multiple weapons? Correct. We, we believe to believe uh, multiple weapons are found in the vehicle, yes. Can you spell Mr. Grant's name? It's going to be uh, first name Ian, I-A-N, last name Grant, G-R-A-N-T. And you started to say that 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 what was told of uh, that's the reports that we received. Uh, again, you'd have to then you have to confirm that information with uh, Mass State Police. All right, thank you guys.